Question 889. Do you think it will ever be possible to build a society that is fair for all? Probably not in our lifetime. <laughs> in in our... I think, it's po I think it is theoretically possible. Definitely not in our lifetimes would we ever see that. Um, I've got views on this. Um, do I... Do I think um, you're ever going to build something that's a complete, you know, utopia? Absolutely not. <laughs> Nerdy says, yes, not with humans, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> Aunt Jer says, never. See, I don't think, I don't think you can, I think you can, might be able to build, I don't think you're ever going to get fair. Well, okay, here's the problem, is that no matter what, you're going to have, you know, normal people that want people to be happy and healthy and whatever the fuck and then you're gonna have hateful people and you can't make the hateful people happy and the normal people happy shoot so, the hateful people the thing shoot is the people. there's the thing no is, such there's no such thing as the society where everybody's happy that does not exist yeah. well that, that's so, not the question it's, a, it's not about happiness no, it's about, fair. about fairness here's the here's the i think here's one of the big issues there's just six Valid. of us right in, in this chat right now and who are and also people in the live chat I don't think even between the, like us, we would reach consensus on what is and what is not fair. Agreed. Whatever Manda says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least and B I and Dave would, would agree with that out of fear as well. So you're up to four now. No, it's all right. You, 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 no, you, you misunderstand I, here, I, I, no, I, I'm only afraid. Of, I'm only afraid. I don't fear her, Mastic. That's I'll, the difference I'll between stand us. Up to her on this. <laughs> you don't fear me, but you love me. <laughs> Man, Back, you're you're me. Better. I don't have any reason to fear her. I don't act stupid around her. <laughs> hey, we've got Nerdy's vote as well. He's up for a grand with Manda too. <laughs> right, uh, Hanging with John Wild says, I don't know, maybe it's the name. Just doesn't sound... Uh, what, the, what the hell? They're talking about crumpets. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Pork Granny says, there is always a moaner. Yes, I'm taking out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's your, fu your, your future mother-in-law like saying that you moan. <laughs> uh, I forgot where we got to. Santi. I think you can have a first society. It's just not everybody's going to be happy with it. <laughs> that's the... That's that's, that's, that's a reasonable answer. Yeah, it's you know, like it's like if you've uh, like if you like make, like, you know, you make laws that are like, you can you can make it fair, like for everybody, for everybody to have the same opportunities and all that stuff. But there's always people that want to want more and people that want to do less and like it, you know, like it's you can make mm. it fair, but you can't make everybody happy. <laughs> the worst thing is, is I think a capitalist society has more chance. Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty Oddly happy enough. in the capital I, one. <laughs> what? I think that's inherently proven itself not to be No, no, I think the issue we have with the... I don't, is the my issue with it is, I don't think our, our society and the society, any capitalist society that has ever existed has tried to put a value on everything. Mm. Right? The only way a capitalist society can realistically work is if everything have a val has a value. Wow. Because you can't compensate... You can't have a any sort of fairness if you can't equate to the fact that someone wants to work more, but someone wants free time. Those two things are incompatible to try and meet the goals of a society unless you can place a value on them. Okay, I'm not saying that we would, they would ever be possible, but I can't yeah. see a way that you can equate those things in any other sort of society either. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> well, I just think that the, the fact of the matter is this, is that, yeah, I mean, theoretically on paper capitalism should technically be a system that raises everyone up um no oh, i wouldn't go that far <laughs> in, well but in, theoretically it should it should improve everyone's quality of life reality it has done anything but that ah, and but it has no, 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 but, 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 wait 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 no wait, on, no, on, no, no, no 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 you have to say at the same point it has increased the level of wealth of more Percent, a higher percentage of any population than anything else previously. And you're basing that on what metric exactly? Qu uh, quality of life. Uh, yeah, I could 
imagine that there's probably a lot of places around the world that would um no 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 no, no, no. you misunderstand me there are lots of it, it has let down massive i'm not trying to say that it's yeah, ideal I, and, you, and you can't yeah. start sort of saying well it's raised our quality like say here or capitalism no 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 it's, it's raised more people that. more people as a percentage of the societies than any other system that does not mean to say it has raised the whole society. It very much hasn't. And it's very much made second and third class citizens out of people. Yes. A lot okay. of people. But no other, no other governmental structure ha has, or societal structure, has, do has got more people out of poverty, for example. There's no other society has put more people in poverty, Dave. There's the fucking trade-off. Mm, maybe. I think there's something to be argued there. Right, yeah, I guess I, maybe catch I, up I, on the chat. Because I'm worried I'm losing control of it. It's yeah. near, near miles away. Uh... Okay, how did we get onto Is Amanda Ramona? Ask Math Pig. Try the ball gag, maybe. What? Uh, Hanging with John Wilde says only if we allow. <laughs> <laughs> only if we allow robot overlords to completely take control and tell us what to do. Oh, that Amanda says, awesome. I'm not the one wearing the ball gag. <laughs> uh, Ant Jair says, the point... Dave, what? Dave, Dave. What? Question uh, 889B. Do you own a ball gag? <laughs> the point is, is to way. work towards that, a healthy society is one that is constantly improving. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, no, I do not own a ball gag. Why not? Because <laughs> well, I like to listen to my partner moan while I'm pleasing them. I don't want to gag them. That's ridiculous. That takes the fun out of it. The Rage yeah. says, capitalism has failed. Quality of life has improved. But is that capitalism or secularism? I think capitalism has actually held secularism back because it has propped up the wealth class. I probably agree with everything yeah. he just said. Uh, yeah, still... I... To, I, I can't help but to a degree correct. on the secularism thing. Um, I think that's an over, maybe an overstated part of it, though. Um, that's just a the problem. Is mind. capitalism does away with responsibility? Pretty much, capitalism does away with all responsibility other than profit. Yeah. Um, and, and again, if you go back to the point where you are not putting a value on everything, I mean, the point yeah. is the reason we have a, glo uh, a, a climate change problem. Is because we don't put a value on our emissions. It, There's no yeah. cost to our emissions. It's also, we, you could put on, you could put a value. Even if you, I don't think, even if you put a value on it and everything, though, you're still not going to get around the problems of overproduction and the general tendency of the rate of profit to fall. Those are inescapable. Agreed. No, no, um, I completely agree. Even, correct, though, even Adam the Smith and David Ricardo noticed noted yeah. that. Yes. Dave is correct, though. The fact Mark, of the matter Mark, is, is the that, only one who come up with an answer to shush, it. Amanda. That fossil fuel companies need to be held accountable for what they're doing. That's why I said carbon tax is absolutely necessary, but it needs to be steep enough because you're talking about, you know, the energy companies are the the most profitable countries on the, or not countries, industries on the planet. And fossil fuels are at the top of that list. Therefore, the fossil fuel companies are making the most. You give them some tiny little tax or whatever, they're not going to give a fuck. You need to hit them where it hurts and use a percentage of their profits, like Jenny said. Yeah. And that's the only thing. No, I agree with that because, I, 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 because first, it defines too small. It's cheaper yeah. for them to pay the fine than it is to correct yeah. the issue. Exactly. Because it's expensive for them. They don't want to pay the money out to do it. Absolutely. Oh, it's interesting he hit, right? Tony says, to steal from Churchill, capitalism is the worst econ economic system except for all the others. Um, yeah. Right, <laughs> just wait. And then Tony says, capitalism is what created the, I can't say that word, a million years. What's that? In which humanism Sorry. could thrive. I think he's trying to maybe a millennium and run out of the words. And then maybe. Yeah, capitalism hasn't even been around for a millennium, so. No, no, it can't. And hanging with John Wilde says, I have quite a collection of ball gags, different shapes, sizes, colours, different holiday themed. Am I strange? No, that oh, seems perfectly normal. Seems awesome. that seems that seems about right. That that that's the normal <laughs> sort of. Uh, right. Have I not uh, math pig? I did. I was the first person that answered. 
What did you answer? You no. tell me. You said no, didn't you? <laughs> I said not in our lifetime. Yeah. Uh, Manda? Uh, I answered too. What did you say? I said you have normal people and you have hateful people. And they'll never get along. You can never please both of them. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I don't think we could again an artist says i don't think we could ever get a society that everyone would even agree on is fair or whatever um it's you know um could we get a fairer society than what we've got now absolutely i think it's absolutely we could i think we can get a fairer system than what we've got now um but something that is you know totally foolproof utopia uh no, I mean, and and I, I often I often get called a utopian because I'm you know because I'm Marxist or whatever. I don't believe even I don't believe like a you know full communist society will be a utopia. It, it, it's the way the way it's been in, been envisioned. Um, mm. I don't know. Mm. So I thought it was more to that sentence. No, I mean it's that the, the thing. The thing is to really go into that. Dave could be like a whole bunch of streams in itself to have these arguments and like not just See, one. Here's the thing. On show. Here's the thing. I'm with Santi. I think a fair society is possible. I'm not convinced it would be a good society mm -hmm. or one that anyone would want to live in. If just fair is the goal. I think you could do that. Hmm. Um, but if you try to introduce... I wouldn't call yet. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the yeah. thing. <laughs> right, but, but you can do a first society. Like, and like, I mean, like, the one that we have now, it's slowly been evolving. Like, I don't say it's like a perfect system, but it is evolving yeah. out of like the worst practices. Like, I mean, we don't do like slavery as much anymore. You know? Mm. <laughs> like, for Without going too much into my obviously Marxist rhetoric too much, um, but I, I don't think it's an uncontroversial thing to say. As long as there are classes in society, there will never be a fair society. Um, no, I think you can have classes in society. In fact, I think you might need them to some degree. Okay, what well, I think what would mm. define whether or not you can make a fair society with classes is the ability to interchange between the classes. In, in, a, in a real sense. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, anyway. No, because the, pro the problem is once you get a, a class of people, Dave, there's going to be a class of it. They, the, the ones who are in power will put stack the deck in their favour so they stay there, no matter what way you do that. That's, that is that is human history. And unless, unless real struggle comes from below and that is true of human history throughout since probably when I, I guess when class society really perhaps developed and with the development of agriculture um is prob which we think is po probably the best time we can say when c just classes in human society probably um, started to evolve is was I think it is uh, probably the, with the development of agriculture. Maybe uh, uh, David what, Melbourne what, from Michigan. Yeah. Go, on, go on, Santi. What if these classes don't represent any power? Like you can set up these powers that don't represent any power. Like for like in order to have like this, this first society, everybody that you put like in, let's say like the ruling class, right? Like they don't get any like any sort of benefit out of it. Mm. Like yeah, you know, like in, you know, like like no no monetary gain. Uh, no, because the like, problem is no, you like, end no up with okay, no land. you end up with what what you happened in the states. I think is the problem. It creeps. Yeah, I you start the off. Only, the only way to be able to have a society where you know the classes don't matter that way would be to completely erase everything and then start over. So that you know, it, there there's no way that that you know the upper classes can feel better than you know, break the classes into not have it be about money, have it be about you know jobs or whatever, Here's and, the problem. and have everything be equal. Again, but that would back, be impossible in and of itself. 
back to the current methods, what's going on in the States, where they have literally managed to lie their way into creating an enemy to keep them in power. Mm. Um, and I don't, I can't see any way through any system that I, that I know of of preventing that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I think it would, to be honest, it, if it would probably be something that we, if, if there was like a fair site, it probably would be something we have, you know, haven't even envisaged yet if we ever get to that. Um, you know, with, whether that, with whether great that be based power, on... <laughs> with great power comes great douchebaggery. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David Melbourne from Michigan says, I envisage a society of pizza and chocolate and people are decent to each other. I think we can work with beautiful. that. Yeah, hey, I think Tribal I think we're going to be wiped out as a species before we ever get to this stage. Anyway, <laughs> I, I just hate to say it, I, I've become so bloody negative. Jaded. About where we're <laughs> doing now, so. uh, I missed what never again said the first time. Uh, no, uh, Titan Uranus says when the robots take over, there will be no need for classes or an economic system. They're going to need electricity. Which ro which 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 robots get the electricity? Uh, tribal knowledge says to be successful there has to be a hierarchy. I think that certain things require hierarchy. And society may or may not. Uh, never again. That's why what come of people being allowed to cross classes. Uh, a fair, uh, never again says a fair society is not necessarily a happy society. Yes. Tribal knowledge. Ego and power don't mix. See, this is the thing. I mean, you talk uh, true democracy, as was as was envisaged, uh, does not include. It's pretty much random. Who's a, who is an elector? It's 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 done like uh, jury duty, but the people in power would be selected randomly, um, which gets rid of a lot of corruption in a lot of respects. But I don't think anyone would ever agree to it, and I'm not convinced that anyone would ever. I think you would end up having a power behind the democracy, which ends up being a civil service that's really in power. Um, Tony says... Oh God. Uh, ah! Uh, all systems evolve into capitalism eventually. Even a true capitalist generates a black market. Uh, hanging with John Wilde says, The only way to have a utopian society is if it's run by a government that runs the government with a common sense approach. That will never happen, I'm assuming. Um... <laughs> Oops, true communism. No. Uh, never again. Uh, they're talking about American government. Skip over. No, never again. I doubt there was envisaged they wanted landowners in power. Of course they did. The rage. I think modern history shows that capitalism fails on its own. I think I don't. The problem is, I think something else has to be driving it. The fact that we, I, I think that we have a corrupted version of capitalism to the point where all red tape is bad. I mean, even when capitalism was envisaged, it was envisaged. We it was stated right there by Adam Smith that you had to have um, control of the corporations. They had to be heavily regulated because they 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 don't answer to anyone. Um, and and we we now got a governments that just want to tear up regulation so that we can have unfettered capitalism. It's gonna go badly. Uh, right, we are done. <laughs> just run away quick. <laughs> Sarah, it's not educational. It's argumentative. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recorded least questions, click here. <laughs>